So welcome to Techno Dad Life and today what we're going to be doing is installing and setting up a program called USB Backup and it's actually a pretty awesome program because what you can do is actually take a hard drive from a old computer or old server, copy that data onto your server very rapidly or at least as rapidly as your USB connection and the other thing you can do is take a blank hard drive and back up your server onto that hard drive. So it's a very quick and easy way to move big amounts of data onto hard drives. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And here we go now. Okay, so the first thing that you need is, of course, a hard drive and a basically a powered hard drive holder. I'll leave a link to this one down below. This is the cheapest one I could find. And the other thing you'll need is a computer with Open Media Vault on it. And then now we'll go into what we need to do. Okay, so once your server is on or you're to your server, uh, first thing is click Update Management, get any updates that you need. For this uh, tutorial, we'll need to have Open Media Vault Extras enabled, and we'll also be able to have need to have Docker enabled. If you don't know how to do that, look up into the top right corner, and it will show you there. Next, we're going to go to Plugins and check for new plugins after you've done that. Once that's done checking, type in USB. And so what you'll do need is USB backup. What you'll do is click that and then install. I already have mine installed, so I'm not gonna do that. So now you'll go down to your menu and you can see USB backup is added. And so next what we're gonna do is plug in our hard drive and our external USB hard drive and turn that on. Now the interesting thing about this is once this plugin is installed, you don't have to go to disk and find it or go to file system and mount it. It will actually automatically, you can see there it is, it did show up, but you don't actually have to do any of that things. So it will just mount automatically. First thing is check external storage to shared folder. For us, we're going to move that to the media folder and we're going to select our device and you can see the hard drive was mounted automatically and we're just going to click save and then apply and yes next we're going to click on that and click run oh before that we do that let's take a look at the media folder here and so we look at the media folder and there's nothing on it or well there's lots of folders on it but uh on our hard drive we have a johnny cash folder okay close that or so actually let's just go back here click run and start and there goes johnny cash and there it says done let's open that folder again and there you can see johnny cash has been added to the folder so let's delete that and now let's create a rule going the other way so we're going to delete this so that you can use to add media to your uh, server so if you want to back up your server you click add and shared folder to external storage we're going to click just app data because there's not a lot of stuff in there and again we're going to pick that uh, external device and then click save we're going to click apply and yes then we're going to click run and start and there you can see it's synced over our app data so remember we do not want to actually mount the drives it will show up automatically but let's do a little thing here so there is our usb hard drive we're going to mount it and let's see what happens okay so now it's mounted and then when we go back to usb backup and click add a actually let's go from a external to a shared folder so when we go to select our device 
click on it and then click save it seems to be working but when but when we click on it and click run it says the device is not mounted so basically that's because it automatically mounts things so if it's automatically mounted it automatically unmounts it so it won't work so definitely do not mount your usb hard drive uh, in the menu here uh, because it will be automatically mounted so and as always if you found this helpful please click like and make sure you subscribe before you leave because we'll be doing lots more interesting videos coming up and you guys have a great weekend and here it's summertime and it's about 80 degrees so keep cool otherwise stay warm if it's warm where you are or cold where you are and we'll see you next time bye bye